Okay, so the other two want to do nothing at centre half. You're going to have to work that one out between. It is GPS based uh, for positional um, uh, statistics or metrics, but we also have uh, different kind of sensors that can be used for, you know, direction of the sprint, uh, elevation uh, and force basically. So we can track up to 1200, you know, data point per second so that we can give you a pretty holistic view on your overall performance um, on the pitch. It's not just uh, how fit you are or how you perform during training. It's very much down to having a, a discipline, a holistic approach to performance. And it's what you do, of course, during training, but also pre-training. How do you prepare mentally, physically? How do you recover from a sleep perspective, nutrition? How do you avoid injuries? So I think the players, the aspiring amateur players, are now more aware that if they want to make it to the next level, they've got to have tools and technology available to guide them towards that end goal. Last thing to get the idea. Little check, drop your shoulder every time. Yep, so now you've got to get your heads up to scan where the spaces are. I think what we've seen over the last last ten years is this this uh, exponential growth in technology, and I think what we, we, we're starting to see now uh, on the field is just smarter ways to train and. Uh, and maximising what, what, what the training process is all about because what te technology allows us to do is to track and then obviously detailed feedback post-exercise. Post so we can be more scientific, we can be certainly more, more detailed in what we do and I think uh, there's a lot more thinking to, to, to what we do in, in the content of our training session. So technology is having a huge impact on, on uh, training at all levels. Which is, no, did you, you we talk to, would you talk to Chris about your username, just sure, okay? Sure. It's not like that. It. It. It's uh, so, zero, zero, three, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool because like before you don't feel like you're anywhere close to professional stats or you don't feel like you're anywhere close to running the distance or speed you do and then it kind of make, makes you want to work harder so that you see your, your results better because then you don't want to have results that are really like bad or like worse compared to the professionals so it makes you put that extra bit of work in it.
if you're going to win the World Cup, you're going to have to play seven games in in in, in circa 20, 28 days, 30 days. So monitoring performance, monitoring output is very, very important to manage your asset right the way through. So I would expect to see you know, certainly growth in this area. And I think in the next five years, you'll see pretty much 90 to 100% of players wearing, wearing, wearing this kind of technology during live games.